just joining us, we now continue our coverage of the search for Megan Richter, the 19-year-old Indiana University sophomore who went missing two days ago. We go now to Alan Fisher live on the Indiana University campus. Alan, are there any new developments in this case? Gina, and I'm afraid not. Police are saying they still have no leads on what may have happened to Megan Richter. Was she abducted? Was she raped? Authorities are saying they still don't know. Thank you, Alan. The abduction and likely rape of Megan Richter has officials searching frantically for clues. As of yet, we have no idea how terrible this story will turn out. Joining us live now are Megan's parents, Marge and Leo Richter. Megan certainly has the smile of an angel, Thank a you, smile yeah. that may not be shining right now. With a daughter so pretty, one can't help but assume that she's being raped. You know, we have full faith that she's going to come home and everybody's searching for her. You know, we, we trust that I, I'm being, doing I'm being the told that can. university officials are allowing our cameras into Megan's dorm room right now. Alan. Have the police found any evidence of forced entry? Strangely, no, Jean Ann. No broken windows a man might have climbed through. No blood on the sheets or hair caught on the bed frame. And this is particularly interesting. There is no semen sprayed on the walls. No fingernail scratch uh, marks. Correct in me the if I'm wrong, but this doesn't necessarily mean that there wasn't a rape. Jean Ann, I'm afraid not. The authorities here have not confirmed that Megan was not taken to a remote strip of woods, a dank basement where she was brutally, viciously, and repeatedly raped. Does anyone have any idea what might have happened to her? Jean Ann, for all we know, she could be alive, but barely. She could be half conscious or drugged, or her mutilated body could be hidden by her attacker. The worst case scenario remains that she is dead, raped to death by her merciless assailant. Marge and Leo, this must be so painful for you to see. I don't believe that anything like that has happened. Of course, of course. Perhaps she was merely wrapped in plastic, tied up with duct tape and thrown into a nearby lake. Would that give you comfort? Please bring my daughter back. The detail Whatever it takes. Thank you. Please. The details of her grisly murder and rape at the hands of a crazed psychopath may never come to light. We'll keep you up to date on this horrifying case as the story unfolds.